So let's go ahead and review what I believe to be the five most important aspects of time management that we talked about today. The first one is to write objectives. We really want to make sure we develop and write clear, measurable, attainable, and specific objectives. We need to know exactly what we're going to do. Now we can take that and put it on a master task list. And that master list is important because we think at 800 to 1200 words per minute, so it feels like we, we have 800 to 1200 things to do today. But if we get it down on paper, we'll realize we only have, you know, maybe 75 or 80 things to do today. But we need to identify the tasks that we need to be done to achieve our objectives. So the third principle I want to reinforce is that prioritization. And when it comes to prioritizing, it's critical. And we have to keep those four ratings in mind. Intrinsically important. Everyone agrees that this is why we're in this industry. This is why we provide these services. And then also urgency. Is there a deadline attached to it? Is there a certain day with a certain time that this must be done? And then the potential for delegation. Can we delegate this to somebody else or are we stuck with it? Or can we provide quick and very effective training so someone else can do the task? Then we get 120 minute hours because we can focus on something else. And then of course with prioritizing, we have to take a look at the amount of communication involved. Are we going to meet every Monday for two hours? Are we going to have a conversation by phone for a half an hour on Wednesday? But what's the communication frequency and how much time is going to be involved to make sure that we finish that goal, finish that task right on time? And then number four, of course, is we have to manage distractions. And we talked about dozens of ways to identify and eliminate interruptions, distractions, obstacles that often keep you from achieving those personal work and career goals. So we got to get those work results and manage those distractions so our day doesn't slip away. And then finally, take action. Develop a plan to achieve your objectives. Take appropriate action to achieve results. The bottom line when it comes to time management is taking action. Otherwise, this would have been a waste of time.